Yes. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. No motivation beyond making things between us less antagonistic. Exactly. As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from them? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarre. Once he was gone, so was I. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus I did not see Navarra. The real Navarra until much later. By then I realized I knew it not. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my aunt, a mortalitasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Your uncle was a mortalitasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead, they bury them in special crypts. The Mortalitasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. So you were the right hand to the Divine? The Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do, exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. The Liana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinia knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. So, what's the story about you becoming the right hand? 
tweet on draft day. Do you really want to hear that? It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. That's what happens with stories that become legends. I am not a legend, nor was I then. I was a young woman, barely out of train. To hear others tell it, I alone saved divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at his heart, and there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral, but I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the court. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. What happened to the mages that helped you? They went back to their circles, with rewards and privileges and most holy gratitude. Many of them died at the court. I think you're a hero, no matter how many times. But it was 20 years ago. I will not rest upon my laws. I'll let you get back to work.